As the moving pieces settle into place, newly elected President of the Republic of Korea, President Moon Jae-in, pulls up for his first official visit to the Combined Forces Command Headquarters on Yongsan Garrison. Generals Lim Ho-young and Vincent Brooks greet the President as he prepares to meet with ROC and U.S. service members. After shaking hands and taking pictures, President Moon signs the United Nations Command, Combined Forces Command, and U.S. Forces Korea Command guest book, signifying his first visit to meet with the joint military leaders. For over 60 years since the end of the Korean War, the ROC and U.S. alliance has successfully deterred North Korean aggression. That bond has been the foundation upon which we have maintained peace and how the Republic of Korea has achieved democracy and economic growth. During his opening comments, President Moon references the recent provocations by North Korea and addresses his stance towards the threats. I believe at the current moment we must maintain a firm deterrence and responsive posture to North Korea's missile testing and nuclear threats. Furthermore, on a basis of closely knit ROC and U.S. alliance, we must induce North Korea to change its attitude. And ultimately, we must find a way to resolve North Korea's nuclear missile threat and maintain peace. The president concludes his remarks with a personal reflection from talking with the CFC troops. Today, I was deeply moved by the conversations with the service members of the ROC and U.S. Just by looking in their eyes and their facial expressions, I could see the strength of the ROC and U.S. alliance and the pride that they serve with. Army Sergeant Ryan Sharp, Yongsan, Korea. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.